doing a little mini test tonight. Um, I thought I would test how Winsor & Newton's new pigment markers handle on vellum paper. Now, I just finished recording how alcohol markers handle on vellum paper. And I noticed that the vellum, the vellum paper is a lot like Winsor & Newton's new marker paper. So I thought this might be a really interesting paper to play around with. And this is just like a little preliminary test before I go to all the trouble of creating an illustration and inking it and, and using the markers on it and then maybe being disappointed, I wanted to see. So it seems like, strangely enough, these markers are more soaking into the vellum. Ooh, that's nice though. I'm getting some nice blending there. I'm gonna have to clean that marker off. <laughs> That's nice. And it's opaque too, which is really interesting on this kind of translucent paper. Let me, let me get you guys right there in on the action. See, it's, um, yeah, isn't that neat? It's kind of opaque. Um, so the colors do sit on the top of the paper. Oh, but that's actually, it feels like it handles a little bit better than, um, this is their blender marker, it handles a little bit better than their marker paper did. Like I'm liking the vellum as a rendering surface better than I liked their pigment paper. But I mean, this is all just like loosely noodling around when I actually get in to an illustration with the pigment markers, I might hate it, but they're also blending better than the alcohol markers themselves did. So, so far, this is pretty cool, and I am excited to delve into this. Hopefully together we can learn something new. It does buckle the paper, which uh, just kind of makes me think these markers might be water-based. I've been told they're alcohol-based, but all signs are, have been pointing to water. And also picks up that, like, isn't that neat? Like this could be used as a palette when you're applying your colors to, so you could use a scrap piece of vellum as a palette before applying your colors to your actual illustration. And they go down pretty smoothly and I'm not getting as much streaking. I mean, you're not gonna get layering with the same color the way you kind of did with alcohol markers, but it's not replacing as badly. Like with the alcohol markers on vellum, they'll kind of replace each other, but here they're, they're blending and I like that a lot. So I am excited about this. I can't wait to do a video on using um, pigment markers on vellum. Super excited, can't wait to share that with you guys. Uh, so look forward to that in the upcoming weeks. I'm Becca Hilburn. This is Natto Soup Studios Art and Process YouTube channel. It's part of my art and process blog, which is Natto Soup, N-A-T-T-O-S-O-U-P.blogspot.com. Um, if you enjoy this video, if you wanna see more, if you really wanna see how these pigment markers handle on vellum for a full illustration, please hit like, leave me a comment letting me know what you think, and consider subscribing to my channel for even more exciting art supply reviews, tutorials, and um, just kind of noodlings around. So I hope you guys have a great evening. Goodbye.